what you guys I was installing a, a new fresh install on my machine the other day and I wanted to quickly share this error with you as you can see I've got uh, two drives in there say a solid state drive and also uh, a hard drive with uh, plenty of data on it I didn't want to wipe all the data drive I just wanted to wipe the solid state drive I went ahead and did that and uh, I then wanted to install Windows 10 onto that drive so I left the other drive plugged in. I've not normally had this issue before. Um, I've normally just been able to install Windows on that drive. So I go ahead and start to install Windows. I'll speed this part up here. And of course, uh, you'd think in 2017 this wouldn't happen anymore. But on the installation of updates and finishing off, I get this error message. Windows could not prepare the computer to boot into the next phase of the installation to install Windows restart the installation of course I tried it again and it happened again and the reason for this is because we are um, got our drive plugged in there and it's now for some reason uh, gone ahead and made my other drive the C drive and there's quite a few ways to go about fixing this so let's uh, click on the OK button here and what I'm going to do is go ahead and start to install again and I'll show you uh, what I found so as I uh, boot up the installation process did my usual thing go ahead and select my operating system go next and I accepted a license agreement I did exactly the same thing before custom and you can see the drives there my other drive is plugged in, you can see partition one, partition one. So I just clicked on this and went browse and you can see the storage drive has now become C. And this is pretty common, but it shouldn't be happening uh, in 2017. But you can see here, the way to fix it, a simple way is unplug the power to all your drives. Now there is other ways of going about this, but it's easy just to pull the side panel off and pull the power lead out of the other drives that you've got inside your computer. Once you've done that, you can then reboot the system and go ahead and try to try to install. And uh, once you've done that, it should go through the process of giving you the same stuff again. And now we can see only one drive here. And as you can see, uh, the drive uh, is zero partition one. I'm just going to delete that partition here because you can see Windows cannot be installed on drive uh, zero partition one. So I need to wipe that drive because it tried to install Windows on it. So now we've got the drive is unallocated space and now we can click on uh, next and it will then go ahead and start to install on there. Now you will find that once that's done, it should go ahead and install. But for, you know, beginners or you know people that don't understand that can be quite uh, daunting and confusing to some people and it shouldn't really be happening uh, today especially with Windows 10 and uh, the modern day now the installation should go ahead and install fully and I hope this one resolves your issue now if you haven't subscribed yet you can go to my main YouTube channel here click on the red subscribe button and also what's really important is hit that bell notification button and this will notify you when I upload new videos.